Do you get asked by parents all the time and how they can help them at home? Do you find that sometimes parents are disengaged and don't support the children with their homework? If so, then I've got the video for you because I'm going to talk to you about how you can support your parents in supporting your students. What's up guys, it's Ben from Waggle Teaching and I'm back today with another video, a little bit different this time, all about how you as a teacher can support your parents on supporting the children. Yes, we're onto the topic of parents and sometimes as teachers we can find ourselves rather frustrated with parents who are not engaged and not supporting what you want to do in the classroom and ultimately they're not supporting their children at home. I've got a few tips for your parents on how they can support their students. They're simple, they're short and ultimately they're going to lead to children being able to learn better in the classroom and at home. So I hope these tips are useful. Here we go. Okay, tip number one. I think the one thing that as a parent you can do at home to support your child is ask them about their learning and talk to them about it. Now I know that's difficult as the child gets older when you say, what did you do at school today? Well, I don't know. But try and ask your questions a bit more specifically. Ask them what they did in English. What did they write about? Ask them what they did in maths. What was the most challenging part of it? And ultimately, break it down to three questions. What did you learn about in that subject? What challenged you and what did you find difficult? And also you can ask them, can you show me some of that when we get home? What that's allowing for the child to do is recall things that they've learned. Sometimes in the child's brain, when they come out of school, their brain switches off. They don't think about the things that they've achieved over that day. However, when they take that learning outside into a different context and have to explain it to you, that's deepening their understanding of what they've learnt in school. It's in a different context, they have to explain it to you, they have to show you, so that's making them recall everything that they did during the day. And that's basically going to allow them to remember that information at any point, any time. Okay, the second thing is give the children life experiences. And I'm not talking about taking them across the world or doing anything extravagant. Do things on the weekend that are a little bit crazy and a little bit different. Surprise them. The more you surprise the children, the more their brain's gonna think and the more experiences they're gonna have. There's a load of research out there that supports the more life experiences you have, the better reader you will be because the more context you have. At the end of the day, if you've never been to the beach, you're not going to understand the text that's written about the beach. So ultimately, the more experiences you can give a child during the week and at the weekend, the better reader they will be and ultimately the better learner they will be because we know that reading supports activities like build a rocket out of toilet paper or create an obstacle course in the backyard. All these little activities will allow the children to think, process, plan, come up with ideas and build their understanding of the world, which has got to have a brilliant impact on their learning. Number three is support your children with their homework. And that's not necessarily just giving them rewards or sanctions for not doing those things. It's actually get down and do the homework with them. Quite frequently, I get asked by parents of, why do I have to support my child with their homework? Is it because they're not learning at school? I always reply with this question. If a child can do everything during their homework and it's really easy, is it helping them learn? And the answer is probably not. If a child gets stuck and needs support and then eventually gets through that question, that's when the learning is happening. So if you want to support your child's learning at home, you've got to be prepared to support them with their homework. Okay, read, read, read. Yes, reading is really important. We know that it supports all other forms of learning. However, sometimes it can be difficult to squeeze in 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour reading every single day. My answer to that is read whenever possible. Read in the car when you're driving to school or driving home from school. Read when you're walking past things. And it doesn't have to be a book. It can be simply road signs or shop window advertisements. Ask them to read those things. Ask them to read the receipts on their shopping, etc. Any opportunity to expose the children to words and to use reading in real life context has got to have a positive impact on the children. It's gonna expose them to vocabulary and it's ultimately gonna make them a better learner. Tip number five is developing their imagination. The better their imagination, the better they can think, the better writer they're going to be. 
And developing someone's imagination can sound quite difficult, but really it's just about being silly, something that we're all quite good at. Ask the children silly questions like who would win in a fight out of Superman or Batman? That gets them to talk, it gets them to imagine, it gets them to create events that are within their imagination. Questions like that are going to help them develop ideas for their writing, it's going to help them develop their vocabulary, it's also developing their critical thinking, thinking of ideas and concepts that are a little bit different. So ask them some silly questions and have fun while you're doing it. The final tip, and this is possibly the most important tip in terms of developing children's thinking, is asking the words why or how do you know. And that can be with anything. In mathematics and English, when they've chosen certain words, why have you chosen that word to write? Why has the author chosen that word to write? Why has the author chosen to have that picture on that page next to this piece of writing? In mathematics, how do you know that you've got the answer correct? Why do you think you've answered that calculation correctly? But ultimately that can go outside of everything. So why do you think that shop has put that advertisement in that window? Whatever they're talking about, ask them about how do you know and why. The children love to share their thoughts and their suggestions of life. So ask them why or how do they know that or why do they think that. That's going to get them to explain, it's going to get them to think deeper. It's going to get them to develop those reasoning skills that are really, really important for learning. So those are my top tips for parents on how they can support their child's learning at home. Obviously the home learning is really important and supporting my children with the curriculum at home can support what they're doing in school, but ultimately your job as a parent is to get them talking, get them thinking and having a bit of fun along the way. It doesn't have to be serious, it doesn't have to be constantly academic, sometimes it can just be a matter of asking why they created an obstacle course in the garden in that way and how quickly did they complete it. It's going to be fun. It's going to get them thinking, but it is going to support their development in the long term. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Parents, if this has been shared with you, please check out other ways in which you can support your children through my CPD videos. Teachers, subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have many more videos like this. I'm Ben from Wagar Teaching. Have a really great day.